Sure, life on Earth is great, but when will it all end? Life on Earth has been the rule for four billion years now, but of course there was a time before all of that, the age of the prebiotic Earth. And we fret over this species going extinct or that species, and we're especially concerned about the old Homo sapiens species here. But when will it all go away? When will the world be completely wiped free of life? I mean, I'm not trying to be negative here, but it could happen. We've come close before, as recently as 251 million years ago, the Permian-Triassic extinction event annihilated 90% of all marine species and 70% of all land vertebrates. Fortunately for us, life endured, and we've since survived two additional major extinction events. If a sufficiently large nearby star were to burn out, the resulting hyper Nova could blast the Earth with enough gamma radiation to destroy the ozone layer. Then we'd have no protection from deadly solar radiation. Goodbye life. Here's another possibility. An orange dwarf dubbed Gilza 710 poses yet another threat to Earth. Astronomers predict this rogue star might barrel into our corner of the galaxy roughly 1.5 million years from now, shredding the Oort cloud on the outskirts of our solar system and pelting us with comets formed from that impact. Even the Earth's own sun poses a threat to life. In roughly 7.6 billion years, the sun will burn through the last of its fuel and swell into a red giant. In this form, the sun's diameter will encompass the Earth's current orbit and vaporize the planet. Yet even before this occurs, scientists predict that the sun's slow expansion could raise temperatures and boil the oceans dry. So yes, in other words, the Earth might still be around, there could be life clinging to it, but it could be a desert world in a mere 500 million years. Oh, and on top of that, unbound by the sun's decreased mass, the Earth might just drift out into an outer orbit, where yes, it'll be safe from the expansion of the sun, but it also could be so freezing that the only way life can survive in even a small way is by clinging to hydrothermal vents deep in the ocean. So that's why the long-term survival of the human race doesn't rest in safeguarding this world, but in spreading to other planets, other solar systems, other galaxies, and, if possible, other universes in order to escape the realities of life in a universe of change. So there you have it. Everything comes to an end, even this episode. Now, if you had to put money on one of the extinction events that I mentioned here, which one do you think would actually kill everything off? Or is there some other kind of extinction event that I didn't mention that you think will bring the doom? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a video response. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.